So without further ado, let's go to the website. And what I'll do here is I'll just kind of run through what that process is like to actually upload and share your art in the contest. So again, um, you know, once, once people have um, visited your park or they've done an event, they want to come here to gettoknow.org. And there's a nice big button in the middle here that says click here to enter the contest. So we make that pretty uh, user friendly. Okay, so once you get to our entry portal, you will be prompted right away to view the full contest rules and regulations. Um, I'm not going to go through all of them right now, but um, please do click on that at your leisure to read through them. Um, so today I'm going to pretend perhaps that I'm still the age of 19 and I'm uh, eligible to enter, and I'm going to enter an artwork. So I'm going to click on this category here. Obviously, if I want to upload a photo, a piece of writing, a video, or music, I can do that as well. So I'm going to upload some art. I have to confirm that I'm 19 or younger. And so if I am younger than 19, I have to have a parent, guardian, or teacher with me. It's my own creation. It was made this year, and I'm a U.S. resident. And this is basically um, a digital entry portal. So if you've taken a photo, you'll have a JPEG file. Or if you've created an artwork, all you need to do is snap a photo of it. And you can do that even on your smartphone um, or a digital camera. You can also scan your art. And once you've got that JPEG file, you just go ahead and upload it. So I'm going to upload a drawing that I've done myself here. I'm kind of into art, so I you know I try to draw once in a while. And there you have it. So it gives you a little preview of what your art will look like in the gallery. And then here we have the basic information for the contestants. So um, this is your basic entry form. So I'm going to fill in all my information here. My name, my age, which grade I'm in, phone number, email address, and you'll see Google has auto-filled uh, these fields for me. This is a really nice feature um, if one of your park staff is assisting youth following an event or during an event to enter their art. They can enter the same information. So it will just pop up for the subsequent entries. Um, and that will save them a whole lot of time and make it really, really easy for them. I'm going to enter my name here. And this, this agrees, this, this discloses that when they enter their art in the contest, that they release their artwork to the Get to Know program and partners. So that's important that this is built into the entry form, as that will then give you the rights uh, as our partners to go ahead and use this art for, for you know, your promotional purposes and, and to celebrate your parks and forests. You can, so youth can also um, have a little bit of fun here, right? So they get to take a little bit of um, authorship in their work, and they get to name or title their art. So, um, you know, I've, I've got a picture of a ready duck here. So maybe I'll just go feather because they've always got their tail feathers in a very upright position. And spe species featured, this is a really cool category here because this lets us tag art. So then we can you, know, you can subsequently go and search a species that you're looking for, and it'll pull up all those entries. So I've got a ready duck. And then we have a little section here, which is a quick survey. So for instance, if I went to a, um, a national park or a national forest, that's where I would indicate it. So this is also in a very important field. Uh, I'll say I went to Yosemite National Park, just as a, a quick example. And then this last section here is entirely optional. Um, youth are not obliged to fill this out. 
Um, however, you know, we, we get many contestants that do. They actually take uh, a lot of time to share their, their get-to-know moment with us and their experiences. And it, it, can, be, um, it can be really heartwarming, I have to say, uh, and very entertaining. Some of them are quite funny. Um, but it's, it's, it's a good sign that um, we see that the contest is working, that youth are getting outdoors, and that they have a reason uh, to do so and to share their art with us. So I'm ready to submit my entry. And there we go. Mission accomplished. So that is essentially um, the entry process. Now, does anyone have any questions um, from what they've just seen? Uh, did anything not make sense, or did it seem pretty clear to you? Pretty straightforward. Good. Straightforward for me, too. Awesome. Anyone else have questions or we're good to move on? So what we like to what we like to say is that once youth have submitted their art, it takes about one to three days for us to actually screen that and approve it and post it on the gallery. So um, we're always quite quick about that. So it should never be more than, um, I would say, two or three days before that art is then live on, on the Get to Know Gallery. Uh, and another important thing here is that when you click Submit, that in, in no, in, in, by no means means the contest is kind of over for them and the process is finished. Um, you know, we have a very long contest run, and our goal is to keep youth engaged throughout. Um, and so how we do that is through the online gallery. So we'll go to the gallery page now. So the Get to Know contest runs from May through November, um, and youth can enter as many times as they like. And depending on what they've entered, whether it's art or photography, it'll be filtered into a national gallery. And each national category has its own prizes that we give away every year after we announce the, the winners in November. So I'll, I'm going to click on the art gallery here, and I'm going to take you to this page. So there you go. You can see my artwork. Now it's appearing in red here because you're seeing um, a kind of our, our admin side of the website. So that just flags it to us that it needs to be reviewed. But you can also see some of the entries here that have been approved, some of the most recent ones. And you can scroll back through the pages here. They're all chronological. So here's a really pretty one that came in recently. And so what you can do is you can just click on the image, and it kind of blows it up for you so you can see it in much greater detail. And then we have a couple features here um, that are, are designed to kind of keep youth engaged in the contest and coming back to the online gallery, um, you know, whether it's to see their own artwork or to see who else is submitting. You know, it, it's a really uh, cool way to connect youth across the country. And so we have a couple tools here. We have a Facebook Like button. Um, and so this is a, a nice way for friends and family, you know, to support um, um, to support the artwork. We've actually done some mini contests this year where um, you know, we say, okay, the entry that has the most Facebook likes will get a free prize giveaway. So that gives people a little bit of incentive to come check out the artwork and you know, um, share a Facebook like with their favorites. And as you can see here, um, we've got the title and the name of the artist. Um, and their age and their location. However, the name is just the first name to protect their privacy and their identity. Um, and then also we have a little Twitter button here, so you can also tweet the entry. So that will share the art on your, on your Twitter feed, which is really cool. Some of the other cool features that we have on the gallery page is the search toolbar. So this kind of lets you do a more precise search throughout the entire gallery because we get hundreds of entries. Um, so for instance, if I wanted to view um, an, you know, an entry featuring a pollinator, I'm just clicking that tag, right, that keyword, and search. And then it will pull up all the entries here that have been tagged as pollinator. Now, another cool feature we have with the Get to Know Online Gallery, so um, 
these are very um, highly visited spaces. You know, we have, uh, I think in 2013, we had over 355,000 visits. So this is a really exciting uh, publication space for the kids. And in addition to the national uh, categories here, you'll, you'll see that we also have some themed galleries. Um, so one of our great ones here is the Migratory Bird Gallery. So you can click there and see that. Some great artwork came in this year. And also, while we're here, we can browse the National Park Service Gallery. So we're very excited about this gallery. It's the first year that we've created it. And so then you'll notice here, we've got, um, we've got some great space here for you uh, to include your organization's logo. So you can click on that, and then people are then directed to your website link. And there's also a nice space in the middle where you can uh, contribute a message or if you want to promote a prize or an event that's going on, we've got the space there for you to do that. And finally, as you can see, uh, the online gallery really serves to build a repertoire um, of artwork for you. And so what you can do is you can simply share the link to your gallery with your friends and partners so that they can view it online. Or you can also use this collection of art to do something um, to do something outside the website. So you can create a publication, um, a calendar, and I can give you some examples of that here. So this is our 2014 contest calendar, and we've had many partners who request their own calendar. So what we do is we put it all together for them based on selections of their gallery. Um, so there's that option. You can also do um, you know, a promotional poster using the artwork from your gallery. And this is one that the Texas State Parks and Wildlife did this year. Um, they kind of put their own spin on it, and it turned out fantastic. Um, they've got kind of little, um, kind of a mosaic of artwork that came in from their contest last year to help their, promote their contest this year. So that's also an option. And then we've also had some of our partners actually take artwork and do an actual public installation. Um, and so this is actually an example of um, the City of Toronto in Canada here, um, where artwork was kind of reproduced to create kind of a beautification project on one of their more, um, um, I guess, neglected park areas in the city. So that was really neat. Uh, we've also had partners do actual um, <clears throat> gallery exhibits too. Um, so you know, getting the originals of the artwork and then showcasing them in an actual gallery. So there's so many options and so many things you can do um, through the Get to Know contest. So um, yes, I invite any questions at this point um, that you may have about the gallery and how that works. This is Rhonda. I'm wondering, those wonderful calendars and mosaics you showed, is there a template where they can create that based on what we saw on the screen so it's easy for them to insert their own artwork and create one of those products? Yes, sir. You mean this one here, this 2014 calendar? Yeah, and then that, that tree thing that looks so cool. Can they I know. this template and then insert their, their group's artwork? Okay, so... Tree? Here's 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 the deal. Um, we, absolutely, we we create the we basically do the design of a calendar, and you provide the content that you want to see in it. So you can provide your logo, your messages. Um, you can provide quotes, um, the artwork that you want to see, and then we just kind of all package it in there nicely, and then get that printed for you. Is there an uh, expense to that? Yes, we do have a calendar fee. Um, and so right now, we're actually going um, to print our calendars for 2015 uh, coming up in November. So we've just put out a notice to all of our partners. If they're interested in this option, let us know. Send us the artwork that you want, and then we get that printed for you. I see. And then for this one here that you referred to, this was actually designed in-house by the Texas State Parks. 
I so see. they kind of they kind of took the project and ran with it. They had their their own vision for it, um, and then you know next year we we plan on collaborating with them uh, again. You know to kind of meet them halfway and and see you know how they would like to visualize it. So um, it's really all about you know working with our partners to accommodate you know the art that they want to use and the message they want to get out there. Okay. Uh, we have we have a design team here, which we're very fortunate to have. So, um, you know, we've we've got that resource for you. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, this is Chris. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Chris. Rhonda and I are just down the road from each other. Um, oh. Hi. <laughs> um, I have a question kind of about, um, well, you mentioned earlier that it was possible to um, for, well, obviously for the students to upload their content, and then it's also um, they sign the consent form so that um, partners of Get to Know can um, use that original art in promotional materials and that kind of thing. Is there um, a process for how somebody at a park would get, I don't know if it's it, uh, the high resolution, I guess, of that image? Um, so, for instance, on park service sites, there are like Flickr galleries, and then there's mm -hmm. also an internal um, image gallery in our content management system. And yeah. I think it would be nice to kind of just pull a couple of those images and feature them um, with the intent of driving them back to the overall park service um, gallery on Get to Know. So, is it possible to um, to share high resolution images, or is it kind of like? Uh, image production is done in-house at Get to Know, and then the product is given to the partner. Uh, no, you, that's that's absolutely correct, uh, Chris. Um, we provide you the high resolution file of the entry. So, um, yeah, if you just reach out to us, we have that file for you. Great. That, and I, I can just show you actually right here on our end. We just click on the link, right, and then it blows it up for us. Got it. Okay. Yeah. I both, both, like having both options is really good because we don't necessarily have the benefit of having a good design um, skill set in every park. But right. We do have a content management system that provides a framework for us to host photos, et cetera. So I think no, that's absolutely really useful. Thank yeah. You. No, certainly. Yeah. And. Um, and also, you know, should you should you decide that you would like to do perhaps, you know, um, at the end of the year, you want to select some pieces and c congratulate, um, you know, the outstanding entries and, and contestants. Um, we work with you because we have all the contestant contact information through the entry form. So we have all that inf information for you, uh, and so we follow up with them and present that opportunity for them to provide perhaps you know, an original or kind of be involved in that process. Of, of of seeing their artwork acknowledged. Oh, great! Yeah. So, any other questions there about the artwork? And if you think of anything as we go along, um, you know, just um, feel free to uh, to chime in there. So. So one of the last things I wanted to, to show everyone here is how the website also provo provides some really handy resources for you. Uh, as you know, um, with any kind of contest and any kind of initiative, promotion is always key. So if you go to the contest webpage here, so you click the contest tab, and that gives you a nice drop down menu. And then you'll see a button here called Promo Kit. So essentially, the promo kit is a collection of kind of multimedia resources that are already kind of pre-made and ready, ready to go for you. Uh, if you want to, um, if you want to promote the contest, or even just maybe share it with your partners um, internally to give them a sense of what the program is about. Um, and so, you know, everything, everything we have here. Um, it's all kind of collected in one spot. We have print materials, so our annual poster, our flyer. We have little cards. Um, we have radio PSAs, so we have audio files here that you can just download. Um, and we distribute those to radio stations across the United States um, at the kind of the start of the contest every year. And we also have videos, and we have a really wonderful um, professionally produced 
um, contest PSA video um, that we that we get uh, our ABC partners to air um, in our key contest locations in the United States. Um, and this is one of our most effective um, outreach tools for really spreading the word to uh, a great amount of people. And, and so what I'll do is I'll, I'll play this for you guys so you can just quickly see it. So here we go. During these moments, you feel connected to nature. You feel more alive. You feel like you're getting to know something new about the world. These moments are worth sharing. What's your get-to-know moment? Submit your nature-inspired art, writing, photography, video, and music to the Get to Know Contest. Okay. Yeah, so that's that. That is available on our website for you to download um, and 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 share that link with um, with your with your partners and your staff. And another cool way um, you can use the Get to Know website to help promote your event. Uh, should you be doing an art in a park uh, event or um, or a kind of a youth-focused program is our events page here. So we have a quite a comprehensive listing of events across America. Um, so we've basically finished most of our events, uh, contest events for 2014. We're coming into the final stretch of the contest here. Um, our last one, we had a really great one here with Lassen Volcanic National Park. Um, they did their first Art in the Park event and um, had a bunch of entries to share with us afterwards. So that was really exciting. Um, and so what the event page does is it gives you a space to kind of put up your image, um, you know, all the key information. And then what we do is we promote that on our end and all of our social media. Um, and we have a pretty robust uh, social media network. We have um, over, over uh, I think, 3,200 followers on Facebook, and we're over 800 on Twitter. So we're always very keen. You know, if you have an event, please let us know, and we do everything we can to promote it. And so the last tool that I want to show you here, last but not least, is the ed Educational Resources page. So you'll see this is a collection of best practice activity guides that kind of put a creative twist on kind of traditional lesson plans. So our goal is to kind of get kids to encounter nature in more kind of creative and unexpected ways um, to explore the outdoors with all their senses. Um, and so what we have is a bunch of grab-and-go activities that you can simply click on and print off. Um, and they're designed um, and categorized by the medium. So if you want to do a painting activity, you can just um, click the Art button. And you get all the art activities. Or if you want to do something that involves photography, it pulls up those exercises for you. Um, our our um, kind of our partner favorite here is the Art in the Park Guide. So the Art, Art in the Park Guide is um, basically a really handy booklet of activities for you to quickly and easily engage kids with uh, with art. Um, and so this is kind of um, I think it was a kind of the teachers' choices of their favorite exercises all gathered in in this one booklet here. Um, and so please do if you have the time just you know browse through this. Um, it's a great way to get ideas if you're not sure um, what exactly you would like to do um, at your event. Um, you know, um, I think, Rhonda, you were saying you had some maple leaves, so here you go. You've got a blind contour drawing exercise that you could do with the kids. Perfect. Um, and all sorts of stuff, right? And so that's available on our website, and that's there for you. 